Hey, welcome to the Regression Project. Let's just take this slow. I've got a scatter plot here. It's not like plot A, B, or C in your handout. It's a new one so that you can work through A, B, and C on your own. But the first thing we want to do on the Regression Project is find the smallest x-coordinate of all those points in your scatter plot and the largest x-coordinate of all those points in your scatter plot. For instance, this point right here has the x-coordinate of 3 and the y-coordinate of 3. That point is the ordered pair 3, 3. Now there are no points to the left of that. And so the smallest x-coordinate we're ever going to get is a 3. The minimum x is 3. If I were to take a piece of paper and pull it across the page straight up and down, this guy is the largest x-coordinate. He's the point furthest to the right. He's going to have the biggest x value. And if we drew a line straight down, we might say that has an x-coordinate of 20. Now, the y-coordinate is 8, but I'm not interested in y. I'm just interested in finding my maximum x value, which we said was 20. So if I want to know the mean x, my average x, my most typical x, well, if these points are evenly spaced so that they kind of thin out toward the left and right edges and they get much more concentrated in the middle, I might think that halfway between 3 and 20 would be a pretty good estimate of my mean of x or x bar. So let's just do that. Let's say our prediction for x bar is going to be the mid-range the maximum plus the minimum divided by 2. Well, that would be 23 over 2, 20 plus 3 over 2, which is 11.5. Now we want to do the same thing for y. We want to find the minimum y. And notice this point has the smallest x, but he doesn't have the smallest y. There's a point that's lower. This guy has the smallest y value. And the minimum y is 1. Which of these points have the largest y value? Well, that's the highest point in the scatter plot, which is this guy. And he has a y-coordinate of 10. So if we were going to estimate y bar, the mean of y, we might find the mid-range. We would take the maximum y plus the minimum y and divide by 2, 5.5. Now we have an estimate for our mean of x and an estimate for our mean of y.